Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Down goes Enrique Tarrio. Hmm. Leader, uh, former leader of the Proud Boys, Henry Enrique Tarrio, was found guilty on Thursday of seditious conspiracy. Now, he didn't go down alone. There were three other memberships. Uh, I'm sorry, three other uh, members of leadership on this far right group that were uh, found guilty as well, related to their role surrounding the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Tario himself faced a 10 count indictment, including charges of conspiring to oppose by force the lawful transition of power from Trump to Biden. After the 2020 presidential election, conspiring to obstruct Congress's confirmation of the election result and actually obstructing the joint session of Congress, reported the Washington Post. This uh, is a great day. Uh, This is a great decision. It's a great day for the defense of our democratic process. Finally, we're getting some consequences. Uh, They effed around and, and they found out. Now, federal prosecutors successfully argued before the jury that the Proud Boys viewed themselves as President Donald Trump's private army, which is scary, uh, and and were encouraged by the president's call to stand back and stand by during a a September 2020 presidential debate. Tario and his co-defendants faced up to 20 years in prison for each count, each seditious conspiracy and obstruction charge. So, of course, we're going to be going to the sentencing next. The jury found, again, that the, pro- the, the government proved their case, that these men wanted to overthrow the U.S. government or hinder it somehow by force. The three others uh, that were also found guilty of sedition conspiracy uh, were Ethan, North- Ethan Nordine, Joe Biggs, Zachary Rell. They have all... Uh, uh, including Tario, have been on, accused of coming together to essentially start a civil war in the United States and reinstall Donald Trump into power by use of force. So that's, uh, again, seditious conspiracy. Half around to find out. Uh, now, he's not the only one. Uh, Tario's guilty verdict is the third major trial in which January 6th defendants were found guilty of seditious conspiracy. Uh, and, uh, one of the other ones was, uh, Oath Keepers founder, Stuart Rhodes back in November of 2022. So basically, uh, right-wingers, um, can we finally call January 6th what it was? It was an insurrection. I mean, you don't just get found guilty of seditious conspiracy for, you know, being part of a tour group to the Capitol. Nice little friendly visit, little stroll to the nation's capital. I'm just checking out the artwork. Just, you know, hey, well, I got to protect the muffins. You know, from the other people who are just visiting. This little art trip. Oh, 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 I'm in the capital. I got lost. I thought this was I thought this was Starbucks. <laughs> Look, that's what it was. Okay, it was an insurrection. And it's very, very clear. Now, I'm not saying that everybody there was, you know, um, guilty of like beating police officers. There were a lot of their people there that were just that were trespassing. And shouldn't have been there. But were led by people like Tarya. And ultimately, we're following the orders of Donald Trump. Because Trump spurred this on through his words. And look, uh, some of the, insur- you know, uh, people who were involved in the insurrection wanted to call in Donald Trump to defend them. In fact, Biggs had announced back in February that he believed that Donald Trump would come in, save them, that he would testify. No, I actually feel bad that, you know, I feel sad that people 
believed that. Believe that Donald Trump would come in and save them. You think you think Donald Trump would lift a finger to help any of these people? No. And that's the saddest thing, right? That's the saddest thing. Do you actually have people out there that say, no, no, no. You understand. Dear leader will come save me. We will come walk with you. You know? Uh and 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 uh, you know, I stood behind him. Donald Trump will stand behind me because he's one of us. No, he's not. Hell no. He's an elitist. Trump's loyalty is only, it only goes one way. He never had any loyalty except for himself. And it took them all of this to see it. Now, Tario blames Trump and says he's going to end up taking the fall for the former president. Well, that was that was the whole point. That's what you were. I mean, to him, you were nothing. You were a tool. And, it, you know, hey, if he had succeeded, he still probably would have forgot you. But since you failed, it was even more likely that this was the end result. This was the end result. It was always going to be this way. Now, Naib, uh, Naib Hassan, uh, a lawyer for Tario during closing arguments, told the court this, quote, It was Donald Trump's words. It was his motivation. It was his anger that caused what occurred on January 6th in your amazing and beautiful city. Yes, true. But again, it was also the actions of these people, people on the ground that were more than happy to be willing pawns for this man. And look, if it weren't for Trump, or if it weren't Trump, I should say, I have no doubt in my mind that it would, would have been another fascist. Because you have a movement of people in this country that don't believe in democracy anymore. They would follow a fascist willingly if it helps them get their goals, which is fascism. Donald Trump, for everything he is, fascists misplaced their faith in him. Now, I'm not saying Donald Trump isn't fascistic, doesn't have those tendencies, but he doesn't subscribe to any ideology other than helping himself. They thought they had a leader in him, but Donald Trump, well, he's a con man. He always has been a con man. He has no real core belief system other than scamming people into, you know, helping him, scamming them out of their money, May, you know, scamming them into uh, doing illegal things on his behalf so that he can make more money or he can save money or he can amass more power. That's what it comes for, uh, down to. His only interest was always fame, love, you know, adoration from the masses and money. If you fell for that scam, well, then, like Tario, you deserve what you get. Even if you finally come around to realize, oh, right. No, you deserve what you get. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes.